Next, we're asked to find the p-value, and we are going to use the t-statistic that we found earlier to help us solve for the p-value. And we're going to use Excel to help us solve that. So probability equals to t dot this bracket t comma degree of freedom comma cumulative brackets. So we have t dot this bracket 3.9977 as the t, and then degree of freedom is 7, and then comma true for cumulative and then bracket, and then we get the probability equals to 0 0.997397. Finally, to get the p-value, we do 1 minus 0 0.997397, so p-value equals to 0 0.002603. Notice that if you look at the diagram, we have 1% for the t-critical. The reason we don't have to divide it by 2 is because this is a one-tail test. This is not a two-tail test. And since our p-value of 0.0026 is less than our alpha of 0.01, we can reject H0 and accept the H1. So our answer is B.